here's how you tell the difference between whether you have a problem to be solved or a paradox to be balanced. Have you ever heard people get really frustrated when they say, I've been with this organization for 20 years and we got the same issue over and over again and nothing's ever been fixed. 20 years ago we tried doing all this stuff and it, we tried that and it didn't work. We tried that and it didn't work. We tried this all, we brought in a new program, Flavor of the Month, and it didn't work. That's one signal to you that what you have is a genuine paradox. The second thing is, are there two potential sides? Long-term, short-term, individual, team. Um, centralize, decentralize. Financial side of the business, people side of the business. So where there are these two polarities, where there are these two things that stretch, that both can be true, then we know that we also have a potential paradox. And the third one is, do we care? We have two kinds of issues. We have problems to be solved. And problems to be solved are either or. We either solve them or we don't solve them. Are we good at problem solving? We're wonderful at problem solving. You would not be sitting here in this chair, in this, cha in this room, if you weren't great, wonderful problem solvers. So, on the other hand, we have something called a paradox. A paradox has two different things that compete with each other for attention. If we focus on one side versus the other side, we lose the tension. So the job of the human resources person, in my opinion, is to look at what are the tensions that are happening inside the organization. And don't think that those tensions are bad. Look at them with a different set of eyes. Instead of seeing them as trouble, seeing them as opportunities. Now your job is not to fix the, if, if it's a paradox, your job is not to fix the tension. Because if you fix it, you will probably make it somebody's fault, you will blame somebody. No, this tension exists for a reason. It's a good thing. So figure out what are, the most, what are the most important tensions that are existing inside your organization. And what can you do to help balance those? Now, again, I've talked a lot about strategic kind of tensions. But you know, sometimes the tensions exist within our own department. Sometimes the tensions exist between internally between two functions. So let me ask you to take just 10 seconds here and on a piece of paper, can you list one or two tensions that exist in your organization that on Monday morning you could resolve? 